I wanted to show the Renogy 400 watt suitcase solar panel setup, which I now have here on the balcony. This goes in line with the prior videos I've done on solar panels out here in this setup. So I'm currently getting about 85 to 90 watts of charge out of this 400 watt panel here. And that's to be expected uh, given that uh, the railing, you know, puts the panels um, in a pretty good amount of shade here. So it's not in full sun. The other thing, it's very diffuse sun uh, today. It's uh, November. It's not, you know, the, the sun's not really high up in the, in the sky. It's not like a direct angle. It's also quite hazy, as you can see up there. It's kind of overcast. So there's the sun. And I figured that in this area, I'm not really using it that much. So I would like to have solar panels out here most of the time. I figured in this particular sun setup with the railing being there all the time, uh, having larger panels is better than having smaller panels because the more surface area means the more solar charge I'm going to be able to get, right? So uh, this is a nice setup in that it can stay out here pretty permanently. It's, it's waterproof. Um, it's metal, it's sturdy. These are not the kind of foldable panels that are completely flexible and flimsy, so they're not really as affected by the wind as much. But yet they do fold up really nicely into a small package that's easy to store. And I'll put a picture here. I actually store it in between the wall and my uh, washing machine, my clothes washing machine, and it fits perfectly. It comes with a really nice case as well. The whole unit only weighs about 30 pounds, so it is a little bit large, but it's not real heavy. So it is actually fairly easy to take with you places if you have room in your vehicle. And again, out in the full sun in the summer without any obstructions, this would give you close to 400 watts. You can see other reviews on YouTube where they say they get about that. They get anywhere from like 350 to 400. So I really do like these solar panels quite a lot. Um, they look good. They seem durable. They seem to perform well. Um, has two MC4 connectors there. So just the normal connectors. The other thing is whatever you're plugging this into, like your uh, solar generator, your power station, needs to be able to support this voltage because uh, the voltage on this is uh, fairly high. Let, let me go ahead and show that to you. So this is the box that it comes in with the specs. You can see here that it has a open circuit voltage of 47.2. So you wanna make sure that whatever power station you're gonna plug this into can support that. The one that I'm using is the Anchor F2000, the Anchor Solix F2000, which can support up to 60 volts. So you wanna make sure that um, you know, you, you're able to support that. Otherwise it just won't work or you could potentially burn out your um, you know, power station. But uh, you can see the specs here, it's 400 watts. And then also this is the case that it comes in. So it comes with a really nice kind of um, weatherproof case here. This is a nice nylon. I think it's kind of sort of canvas nylon like. And then inside here, it's got a rubber material. So it's relatively weather resistant. Um, and so this is the overall size of it. When you fold up all the, when you fold up everything, all four sections, it just fits into a nice case like that. And then this is my um, power station. As you can see right now, it's getting about 75 Watts. And I expect that to improve today uh, a little bit. Um, I actually think that, you know, in ideal conditions in the summertime, not in the wintertime, but in the summertime when it's not cloudy and you're at the right part of the day, the ideal part of the day here, this can probably get up. I'm expecting over 100 watts, maybe even more, maybe even 150 or maybe even up to 200, um, given that it is a 400 watt panel. But the main thing is I just think if you have the space getting bigger panels is always going to be better because you have more surface area to give you that more power. And especially if you're in a sun hampered place like this, given the fact that I have the railing and all that. But these panels fold up into a nice suitcase uh, like setup and it works really well. Now on the back, you can see each section has an aluminum stand here, aluminum leg. This is not angle adjustable. So it's only this one angle. And at first I thought that was a kind of a negative, but in some respects it's not really because I've had other foldable solar panels before where you don't really end up adjusting it that much. Usually it's the kind of thing where you just want to kind of set it and forget it. Just leave it out here. This can almost, almost be like a semi-permanent setup and just, um, just leave it out here and have it go. So, so in, in some respects it would be nice to have maybe one or two adjustable angles, like having this extend a little bit, having a little, having little extenders here or something to adjust it. But that's a minor concern for me, given the fact that it's kind of a sturdy uh, panel setup.
Now, I believe these are the monocrystalline um, solar panels, but they also have fiberglass as well. So it's a very sturdy design in that respect in that it's not glass panels, but it's not flexible panels. It's kind of the mixture of both of those, which I really like because glass solar panels tend to be really, really heavy and not really that like portable or transportable. But then the fabric ones that are foldable are transportable, but they tend to be kind of flimsy sometimes and they kind of bend in the wind or could blow down in the wind. So I think with this Renogy panel, you get the best of both worlds. It's foldable, it's transportable, but yet at the same time, it's quite uh, sturdy and can be used in a permanent or, or in a semi-permanent or even permanent type of a situation if you want. So I think that's really a plus for these. If you don't need something this big, they also have a newer model that is a 220 watt, so it's much smaller. I think that one only weighs something like 18 pounds or something, and uh, it's just a lot smaller and easier to take with you. So if you don't need the full 400 watts, you might look into that. But so far, I'm really quite happy with this setup. And yeah, it does look kind of big here on this balcony, but I actually wanted something that would take up most of this balcony. Uh, given that I can't really hang anything on the railings, it's against the HOA rules. Uh, I guess they're worried about things falling, you know, to the people below and hurting somebody, which I can understand. Now, I could probably hang something up here, but then that would destroy the light into the room and, you know, the bit of the view that I have. Also, it gets really windy in this area, so if I hung some solar panels here, I think they would be very prone to swaying a lot in the wind and maybe falling. So, yeah, this setup here, I think, just works really well and is a very effective use of this space for me. And when I want to use this space, I can always just uh, fold up the solar panel and put it away and uh, have use of uh, my balcony. So I think this works out really, really well. The main thing about this Renogy 400 watt suitcase solar panel setup is that it is designed really well. It's foldable and transportable, but it's still quite sturdy and just um, good overall design as well. Renogy also includes a five year warranty with these as well, which I think is uh, really, really good. So all in all, I'm really quite happy with this solar panel setup um, so far. So thanks for watching them and stay tuned for uh, more reviews like this.